Oh, who put all this crap over here? Wow, someone's doing something. Yeah, I didn't show you guys this. Um, but yeah, Megan's car is like in surgery right now. But we're not talking about that today. We are taking Astro to Caffeine and Octane. And we're gonna see how many other S650s show up today. Last year, or last year, last time, there was like four other ones, I believe. Um, so we'll see who shows up. Cue the eyeball watering. Thank you. Oh. oh yeah, it's still all super wet. Yeah, I washed the car last night uh, in the dark because it got dark at like 7.30 and uh, it probably froze. Whoops, it's still super wet today, but whatever. It won't be the cleanest X is, it won't be the cleanest S650 there, but hopefully it's one of them. I've been on ghosts as a kid. Alright guys, we made it to Caffeine and Octane. We got a good spot actually up in the front here, thanks to my buddy over here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if there's any other 2024 S650s here. Uh, last time we were here, there was like four of them. Uh, this time, I haven't seen any yet, but we just rolled in. Megan is still waking up here this morning. How are you? Yep. I'm awake. You're awake, <laughs> barely. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go check it out and see what other cars we got. And uh, hopefully I don't get copyright from this music right now. Guys, check this one out right here. We got um, an S550 in eruption green, I believe. This is a really cool color for sure, man. I wish they had this color on the 2024s. I think it would actually look pretty good on the new new design, but uh, yeah, man. Oh, hey, Slurpee. Sorry, I almost spilled. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this one's looking good. I like it, man. I like the eruption green. So far, I haven't seen any other S650s here. We might be the only one. I hope there's at least a couple other ones that show up, but we'll see. So we've been walking around the show for a little bit now and uh, no dark horses yet, no other S650s. I think we might be one of the only ones here, but there's a lot of cool stuff. Unique one. Yeah, we're the unique one for now until uh, another one shows up, but yeah, we haven't seen it yet. So. Join the party. Yeah, right? <laughs> there needs to be more. You guys get your S650s out here. It's Bronco day here today, guys. A lot of Broncos, not a lot of Mustangs, but uh, pretty cool. We're gonna go see if we can leave Megan in the dust here. Well, here we go. There's a dark horse. Looks good. This one I haven't seen here yet, so this one is a new one for sure. Let's see, performance pack? Or... Nice, cool. Knew we'd have at least one of them here, guys. This one's all in black, and I do like that actual like the matte black kind of blending in with the gloss black. It does look good on this spec for sure. Well, we're back in the car here after checking out the rest of the show and uh, not too many S650s here. I've said that so many times, uh, which, you know, the first week, I guess the other video, which I'll link up here, there was quite a few. There was like four of us, I think, that showed up. Do you want to... Pretty cool, man. All three side by side. That's a pretty awesome. Uh, but the car is getting quite a bit of uh, attention here. You can see there's a lot of people around still walking uh, around the car. But I want to talk about real quick one of the issues that I've been having with this car so far. And we, we just have about 1,200 miles on it. Um, and it's happened multiple times. So if you guys have one of these cars yourself, I'd be curious to know if it's also happening to you. But honestly, the biggest thing that's kind of, you know, happening here as far as issues go is the display. So the display occasionally won't turn on when you turn on the car. And that can be kind of an issue, obviously for like backup camera, things like that. So like if I start the car now, you know, now it's turning on, it does its animation, but there's been quite a bit of, uh, you know, times, look at, we got a uh, little thing here. I have a tire pressure monitoring fault as well. We can't program the new wheels, like the sensors in the, in the actual tires to read yet, I guess. Maybe Ford at the dealership, they can. But yeah, this time it actually pulled up just fine. There's quite a few times. It's happened like maybe four times, three or four times this entire you know, ownership, I guess, of, of the car, where we'll just turn it on, the screen stays black, but there is a trick to getting it back, and thankfully it's pretty simple. So the trick to actually fixing this, though, is holding down these two buttons here. So if I hold these down, and you guys can watch the screen, 
I'll give it just a minute here. There we go, it goes black. You can release that and it'll reboot up that center display. So there's a fix for it. The bummer side is though, when it happens is that I had no access to the AC, nothing, you know, like it would just stay black. So no backup camera, all that stuff. So it's, it is kind of a bummer and it's, uh, it's something that I, you know, I'm hoping and I'm thinking that with further updates that come out with these cars, that uh, that'll be fixed and it'll be fine. Um, but so far, that's the only issue that I've had with the car per se is with the infotainment display. And if that's all it is, I'm, I'm happy, you know, because it's a brand new generation of vehicle. So I assumed that there's gonna be something but I'm curious if uh, if you guys own these as well, uh, 2024, let me know down in the comments. Have you guys experienced this uh, or anything different? Because a little inconvenient. But other than that, guys, the car is an absolute blast. And right now we got 1,200 miles on it um, as of the recording of this video. So I have to do my first oil change in the car, which is coming up. We're going to tackle that together. And we have the uh, new exhaust that's going on as well, guys. I have the box in the garage, uh, just not on the car yet. So we're gonna have a video coming up on that as well very soon. But yeah, I'm loving it now that I'm actually being able to get on the car and have a little bit of fun. And uh, it's definitely um, a showstopper as of now because there's not too many, too many of them out at these shows. So a lot of people are, are interested and looking at them and it, it's kind of cool. So there's that. But maybe we can give you a couple full throttle runs before the end of the video. That might be fun. Let's see if we can get out of here. There's a lot of, a lot of cars, a lot of people. Actually more so people than cars. Actually, no, nope, that's wrong. There's probably a lot of cars and people. I don't know why I said that. I don't... Am I in drive? Let's we'll see if we can actually get out of here without doing Mustang things with people. <laughs> can I rev it? We'll rev it a little bit. <laughs> Stock exhaust, so she's pretty quiet. Hey, does it get sideways and kick out? Not yet. Hopefully not. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It has a built-in rev limiter at like 5,000. So it actually has like some sort of like, like, it's not like a two-step, but it's, it sounds similar when you actually get on the car, which is pretty cool. I've been on as a kid. Now I got us for the kids. Where I keep with me is sick. Keep making that money flip. I've been on as a kid. Stay. 